So is it possible to play just as well in matches as you do in practice? The answer is yes, but it's much easier said than done. Welcome to this episode of Ask Ian. Today we're answering a question from Pruthvi. Sorry if I totally messed that up. Uh, he wrote to me on YouTube and said, I currently play tennis at an intermediate level. I hope to improve this as I feel tennis is something I want to continue on in life, but I always struggle in my tennis matches with consistency, confidence, and footwork. This is very frustrating as during my training, everything is fine. Is there a way to improve this or have you made a video about this already? Okay, so um, Kruthvi, it is possible to bridge that gap. And what you're experiencing is, I would almost say universal. Uh, it's unbelievably common that you feel confident, you feel calm, you feel loose, relaxed, and confident during practice, but then in matches, you kind of feel like a different player. This is something that I've heard articulated by amateur tennis players over and over and over again, enough so that we've actually created a, a whole program called Mental Tennis Mastery. Let's break this down a little bit right now. There is a way to improve it, and it's important to understand that as you get better, right now you're at an intermediate level, as you ascend and raise in your level of play, it actually becomes more and more and more about that mental toughness element. When you get up to a 5.0 level or open level tennis, everybody's got great fundamentals. Everybody's got powerful shots. Everybody has good consistency. Everybody has great technique. They have good footwork. They move well. They have good fitness. As you get higher and higher and higher in level, everybody's got great skills. But what more so starts to differentiate from player to player in level of success is their attitude on the court and their ability to handle adversity on the courts. And when you think about it, there's two a kind of two totally different fundamental ends of the spectrum. When you put two different players in the same situation where it's kind of do or die, it's you know third set tiebreaker, second serve, and you're you know serving for the match, or maybe you're down match point, and it's and it's, your back's really up against a wall. There's two opposing responses that you can have to that situation. Some people get in that situation and, and they dread it and they say, oh man, this is terrible. This is so much anxiety, so much stress, uh, so much pressure. And they, they approach that situation by saying, oh no, what, what if, you know, all, all the what ifs are, are running through their head. What if I blow it? Uh, what if my teammates hate me? What if my parents won't give me a ride home? Uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they focus on the negative. You take a different player in that exact same situation or scenario, a different player may say, oh yeah, oh yes, this is, this, is, this is why I walk on the court. This is what I did all my training for. This is where all my hard work pays off. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. Totally same scenario, same situation, uh, but two completely different mental attitudes or uh, approaches. And this basically falls under that umbrella of mental toughness. How have you prepared yourself mentally and not just physically, not just in terms of technique, how have you prepared your mind to be able to deal with those tough situations? Because it's universal that we all deal with stress and pressure. We all deal with, with nerves on the court, all the way up to your biggest tennis idol. We've all felt those same feelings but they respond to those feelings fundamentally differently. And so they're able to play like they do in practice even when they have those feelings arise. Um, part of it is experience level and, and being in that situation so many times it becomes familiar. Um, but even then, uh, I was reading an interview with Vavrinka after he won, uh, what was his last slam? I'm, I'm bad with stats. Whatever the last slam was that he won. And he was talking about how visceral the, the nerves were. He basically said that he had a whole set where he, he just felt like uh, he was, the world was just coming down on him physically and he felt so unbelievably nervous and tight. So this is a guy that has been playing tennis at you know, top elite levels for his entire life and still was experiencing that, that physical reaction. Now he's, he broke through and he still won the match and he won the tournament you know, for a Grand Slam championship. So. The difference between us and them is not whether or not 
we experience those experiences of nerves, the difference is how we respond and how we're, we're able to deal with those situations. So if you'd like some step-by-step -step guidance on that, go to mentaltennismastery.com and you can sign up there for a free series of videos that will give you a really nice full introduction, uh, overview, and some good specifics too on what you can do to help improve your response in those situations. And you'll have a chance to check out our full Mental Tennis Mastery course as well. So, thank you so much for the good question. Uh, if you have any follow-up questions to that, let me know down below. If you have any comments or questions about anything I've said here, let me know, know down below. If you have any questions for me that you'd like to see featured in a future episode of Ask Ian, leave those down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and good luck with your tennis.